Good evening, everyone. What's up? I just ate a satisfying meal and topped that off with a measly dessert. <sighs> Recently, summer ended and school has officially started. Previously, I did five rants on school and two other school rants. I also deleted my school rant part one because I just rambled, did not prove or justify. Like the most previous video, today's rant is also a remake of the deleted school rant. This is the school rant, real one. It's finally here. This rant is a compilation of many short rants of the many problems of school. Oh, where do I begin? Yeah, I know. I'll start off with the last part of school lunch, which are lunch periods. Typically, there are three lunch periods in each school. They range between 10.30 to 12.30 to 1 p.m., either 30 or 40 minutes long. However, there are sometimes four lunch periods. The first lunch period sucks period. It's always too early and there are three or four classes left in the day and one could be hungry when approaching the end of the afternoon. It's just too early for a free period and that's an agreeable statement, opinion. The only good lunch period is the last one when there are only two classes left for the day. There's only need for one lunch period because there's more than plenty of open, unoccupied space to hang out or sit down. And one could also do that with their friends outside during the warmth of the then of spring. That would be afternoon. The next thing is report cards. The only classes that should be accountable are the core subjects, language arts, math, science, English, and social studies. The classes that are mandatory include for graduation include Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, Trigonometry, Earth Science, Biology, Chemistry, Language Arts, 9 through 12, U.S. History, World History, Civics or Politics, Economics, Gym Class, Health, 2 or 3 years of Foreign Language. If you're special ed, you're exempt from that. Moving on. Language arts book tests suck because all the none of the questions reappear after. The finals are skills based, meaning that one can't study for this. And the vocabulary is usually forgettable. In biology, all the units should be tools, psychology, biochemistry, human anatomy, three units of genealogy, evolution, ecology, microbiology, and zoology. Dissections of planaria, earthworm, deer, heart, pigs, uterus, crayfish, squid, clam, and frog should be in class. Overall, most of the high school classes sucked. They're bad enough that I don't want to ever retake any of those for any purpose of any kind whatsoever. Overall, one of the biggest problems is the exams. Oh man. America needs to stick to one exam required for graduation. Almost every state has their own exam. But they are not completely comparable. Ohio has an exam that is mostly common sense for graduation and is all the main subjects. New York State has readings exams and Michigan does not have any. They have none. No matter where one goes in the U.S., there's always multiple choice. In France, Indonesia, and China, or other countries, there is no multiple choice, just writing. There's multiple choice, but it's easy to grade. It's scanned and that's it. On readings exams, at least half the multiple choice questions are common sense. Almost anyone can answer them because there, there is only one answer that makes sense. If everyone gets the question right, then what's the point? It's meaningless and a given. Overall, high school must be too easy in many parts of this vast country. If passing rate is that high or that many have a 90 or higher, it must be. Also, multiple choice don't prove one's intelligence because almost everyone gets the same answer which happens to be the correct one. Overall, common sense is a waste of time. Not only does America need to have standardized exams, there should be a big one consisting of all four subjects to be taken as a sophomore, junior, or senior without multiple choice whenever everything's known. Oh, one other thing. All the exams are way too short. An hour and a half to three hours is not long enough. An exam should be for a minimum of five or six hours and a maximum of ten hours. They're supposed to test endurance just as well as intelligence and knowledge. Multiple choice make an exam 
go too fast. Another thing that ticks me off are the rules on a readings exam is that if one cell phone goes off, they'll get a big fat zero. One has to stay for a minimum of two hours and must finish by three hours unless they have extended time, which is five or six hours. Oh. One thing that ticks me off, bothers me, is that teachers always say, shh, it's a test, or shh, there's a test going on. So what? Boo! Who cares? An, e an exam should be only writing a short answer. 30 laps to take a science exam? That's not fair. A si a the state can't find out due to the abundance of schools. In my opinion, the most useful class is foreign language in levels 1 and 2. That's a life skill. Levels 3 and 4 are poorly taught. This is off topic, but this kind of has to do with school. To get fake maple syrup or taco sauce at one school, one must have bought a school lunch. Are you serious? What are you lunch, ladies? As poor as Detroit, who do you think you are? Now you're depriving us from a condiment? What do you think you are? Overall, America is a poor education system. Senior year should, is not as free as it sounds. Transcripts should not be given until one is graduated. The top 10 should not be determined until one's graduate. Same with awards. Senior year is one school year should be drastically reduced because for some of us, including me, we don't have a purpose of staying. All of our exams should be in like early March and then early April would be a good time for the graduation and classes should end by the beginning of March for seniors. America fails when it comes to education. Why don't we ever get our exams back given to us once they're graded? Why? So, what happens to the exams? Are they thrown out? That's my assumption. It's an unsolved mystery. Stop wasting paper on useless worksheets, teachers. Is that too much to ask? Well, is it? Our taxes would be massively reduced if we used less paper. Just use textbooks for homework. Also, a shout out to RC Wonder for missing my red hoodie. And choose Andy. Good night.